Hey all, and you're welcome to my vlog. My name is Erin, and today we're gonna be talking about proof copies. I received mine in the mail, so we're gonna talk a little bit about what they are, when and why you need to get one, and we'll take a peek at what mine looks like. Number one, what is a proof copy? A proof copy is a single copy of your book that you order from the printer to make sure it is not a flaming trash pile once it's printed. You get this copy from the printer so that you can review it and either approve it or suggest changes. Number two, do proof copies cost money? You bet they do. You'll have to pay for the book and shipping unless you are specifically told otherwise. Number three, what am I looking for? The short answer is everything. You want to read the entire book yourself, maybe get some friends to read it, or even hire a professional proofreader. You're looking for typos, text formatting errors, is everything aligned, are all your pages there, is anything cut off, was there enough bleed so that stuff isn't disappearing into the center of the book? Number four, what do I do if there's issues? That would depend on what the issues are. If there are typos or there's issues with the text formatting itself, then you're gonna be contacting whoever formatted the book for you. If you're working with a professional formatter, then you will contact them. If you're doing the formatting yourself, which I don't recommend unless you have professional experience with that, then it's up to you to fix it. If it's purely a printer error, like the text is slanted or there's pages missing, then you're gonna contact the printer. Number five, do I really need to order a proof copy? Yes, this is your last chance to make sure that your book is presentable for the world. I don't think it's worth skipping this step to just hope for the best. Number six, when in the process does this all happen? This is the very last step before your book gets published. At this point, your book should have already been looked at by beta readers, critique partners if you have them, developmental editor, a line editor, and then either a copy editor or a proofreader, depending on what your feedback from your line editor was. If you're gonna be having a proofreader or a copy editor, then I suggest you get them before you get to this stage, because at this point, it's gonna start costing you money to make changes, it can be a huge headache, and you want your book to be as perfect as possible before it gets to this point. Number seven, how long before publication should I get my copy? Honestly, the sooner the better, as long as it's gone through those other stages. This is why I don't recommend rushing your publication date. So many things take time and you're waiting a lot on other people during this process. If you're a week off publishing and you get a proof copy that's a hot mess, then you're gonna be paying for rush shipping of a corrected copy and you're gonna be entering full panic mode, which is no fun for anyone. But if you've planned to give yourself a couple months leeway, then you can do this whole process with a lot less stress. So that's all the info I've got for you on proof copies. Let's take a look at mine and see how it turned out. Oh, it's so, oh my God. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Guys, look at it. Oh God, there's glare. I knew the measurements going into it, but it's still, it feels so much bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> It's so pretty, my god. Okay, so cover all looks good and lined up. Everything is pretty easy to read. We have our title, heart and soul. We have our tagline, to have and to hold until the contract parts us. And at the top here, we have the Soul Series Book 1, which you guys can't see on camera, but trust me, it's there. We have our lead characters, Tessa and Ungi. And my name at the bottom, Erin Kinsella. None of that is cut off, we're good to go. And then we have the back cover. We have She's Living Her Very Own K-Drama. Beside herself with excitement, best-selling author Tessa Hale flies to the vibrant city of Seoul, South Korea, where she's meeting the cast and crew of the film adaptation of her book. The thrill shifts to starstruck panic when she discovers the actor cast as the lead is the idol she's been high-key crushing on for years. The last thing he wants is more real-life drama. Baekun Gi is part of one of the biggest K-pop groups in the business. Music has lost its luster and he's hoping a shift in focus will bring back that connection he craves. Although he's estranged from his family, he has his friends, a thriving career, and a healthy respect for the dating restrictions imposed upon him. Meet cute. Scandal. Wedding? When their paths collide in the most unexpected and embarrassing of ways, they try to put it behind them. Too bad there are photos. The music company is irate and offers them a way out of the scandal, a marriage of convenience. Their lives are about to turn upside down, but it just might be the best thing that's ever happened to them. So that is all of the blurb here. And then we have the quote, which is Aaron tells a heartwarming story of new love, chosen families, and celebrity scandal all wrapped up in a sugary sweet bow. This book will have you grinning for days on end as you replay each adorable moment in your mind. 
That is from Jenna Moresi, best-selling author of The Savior's Champion. That all looks good. Everything is lined up. We got our ISBN. That is correct. Make sure you double check that on yours. Twitter handle on the side at Ikinsala Author. And my website on the bottom, also available in ebook. And then cover art by Odette A. Buck, who is my amazing cover designer. She also did all of my character art. She's fabulous. And the text design was by Eight Little Pages. You also want to check your spine just to make sure that it's all lined up. Everything fits there. Everything that you need to be there is there. We have our title, Heart and Soul. My name, Erin Kinsella. And then we have the publisher logo for Tychus Media. And let's check on the inside. Title page, Heart and Soul. We have our copyright page and our full title page. Everything is good, nothing is cut off. I can't get it to read on the camera, but I have a page for content warnings, tropes, and representation. And then we go into the actual book where we start off with chapter one. We have this adorable little chapter art. So once you're in here, you wanna check that everything is lined up. The bleed is the edging. So you want to make sure that there's enough bleed on your pages so that everything is still readable without basically prying the book all the way apart. So you're gonna have space here, you're gonna have space on the edges and the top and the bottom. You wanna make sure that it's all good so that nothing's gonna be difficult for your people to read. You wanna make sure you have your page numbers, you wanna have your author name and the book title at the top of your pages. So for all of the rest of the details, like the very specific text formatting, typos and all that, I can't show you on camera because it involves actually reading the book, but it's super beautiful and I'm very pleased with how this turned out. Thank you so much to everyone who was part of making this book reality. Let's put it up in its new spot of honor. So that is all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. My upcoming contemporary romance novel, Heart and Soul, is available for pre-order right now. The first three chapters are available on my website, and if you pre-order, you can join the pre-sale giveaway for a chance to win some awesome prizes. I'll put all the links in the description below, and if romance is not your thing, both of my books, Olympian Confessions, Hades and Persephone, and Olympian Confessions, Hera, are available now in ebook and paperback. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to be notified as soon as I upload, then ring that bell. All my social media links will be in the description below and I will see you all next week with another video. Bye!